The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am James Kincaid, alongside, as always, the United Television Champion, Timeless, Levi Shapiro, and Timeless One. In our main event, Jordan Cruz is set to defend his Hollywood Heritage Championship, and you know better than anyone, it's harder to hold on to it than it is to get there. Any uh, advice for the young Jordan Cruz? Well, Jordan Cruz is definitely going to have a fight ahead of him because Coach Flexo has just been off his rocker ever since Beef Candy lost that title. So Jordan is in for one hell of a fight. Well, speaking of off their rocker, that was you last week because Brett Michaels from Memphis getting up in your business, eyeing that championship of yours. Well, you know, today Brett Michaels has his in-ring debut here at Championship Wrestling, and he's got one thing that he has to do, and that's prove to me why he may deserve a chance at the number one contendership for my United Television Championship because, you know, he may say that he has a gun show lariat, but all I've seen is that it shoots nothing but blanks. Oh, come on. I haven't seen him lose yet. But speaking of Memphis debuts, we have the Young Goats taking on Wasted Youth right now. What is this, a farm? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Memphis, Tennessee, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, the problem child, Aaron Roberts, and the chosen one, Zay Washington, the Young Goats. Except for opening tag team action, Todd Kennelly, Blake Bulletproof Troop, we are joined in the broadcast position by Dustin Starr from Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Our first look at the Young Goats in their Hollywood debut. Give us the pertinent info. If you are watching live right now with us on YouTube, you've seen the Young Goats in action. These guys are 19 years old, they're hungry, and they are spectacular. You're in for a treat today. And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 345 pounds, the Lost Cause, Adriel Noctis, and the skate park scumbag, Sketch Wasted Youth. So you talk about the pair of 19-year-olds in the Young Goats. Likewise, a very talented young team in Wasted Youth or one-time top contenders for the United Wrestling Network Tag Team titles but it's been a bit since they've been in the win column, but a victory here over one of Memphis's top up and coming teams could be just what they need to propel themselves back up the ranks. Oh, you're exactly right. Not only are the Young Goats just a superb tag team, but they are one of the most popular tag teams in the tag team division at Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Tons of victories in chasing those Memphis Heritage tag team titles, and you know why they're here, Todd. Oh, absolutely. It's they, simple. Yep, yeah, I'm sure they've got their sights on the gold. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Bell rings. You're in for a treat right here. I'm a big fan of the dynamic that the Young Goats have. They've got a really big guy and a pretty big guy, which is a huge advantage for them because the Wasted Youth have a very similar body type, meaning you can utilize the same game plan against both these guys. However, the, it doesn't work the same way going against the Young Goats because they're so differently built. Look at that big boy just smashing into Sketch in the corner. Problem child Aaron Roberts is a big problem right now for Wasted Youth and most notably Sketch. I love that tag was made in the midst of that suspended suplex, standing, shooting, star, and thus far the Young Goats living up to that name. That is a small glimpse of just how spectacular and athletic Zay Washington is, the chosen one. Yeah, the first minute, and these boys, the young goats, are doing work. Fair Sketch to say there's been no failing out process in this one, fellas. No, not quite. Uh, Wasted Youth, we've been following them for several years on, on championship wrestling in Memphis, and of course here in Hollywood, near, there's a cover, kick out at one, if it was even a one. You're not going to pin the young goats that fast. 
Got to be impressed, Blake, that uh, Wasted Youth have found their way back into this thing after a very quick start by the Goats. Yeah, the Goats came out very strong, implemented some fantastic offense, but I don't, the Young Goats are not far behind. I mean, Wasted Youth is getting a little bit, but the Young nice. Goats are taking it right back. Pin attempt by Washington. What yeah, a power fun. slam, so much velocity and speed. And veteran instincts for a youngster there immediately went for the cover, looking for their first big victory here in Hollywood. The thing about Zay Washington and Aaron Roberts is they started wrestling when they were 13 years old, Todd. 13, Blake. Could you imagine stepping between the ropes at age 13? You know, that's incredible that they've been wrestling for that long, and it's probably why they look so, wow, that was, that was a big move. Yeah, my sketch oh, the this might do it. Big double team there by Wasted Youth. That backbreaker into the knee drop. Nicely done. Back and forth seesaw action. What a way to kick things off in the tag team division, unbelievable. You can really tell by the fluidity that the Young Goats move that they have been in this game for as long as they have. You see that counter right there by Zed Washington, impressive. Wow, a whole combination of attacks finished with that big neck breaker. Both men are down and desperately need the tag. Now guys, things usually pick up. The pace picks up when the big man, Aaron Roberts, is in the ring, so let's see if that happens today. Oh, what a beautiful snap, nice. German, although sketch, it got him very close Here to comes. his corner. Tag Whoa, made on both sides. Big Here. man. Yep, attitude, mood changes when the big guy hits the ring. Look out. Oh, Club wow, blow. following up his attacks with multiple other attacks. Big slam, wow. This man is for sure a problem. 300 pound Aaron Roberts taking on both members. Struggling now, the number's catching up with him here. Wasted Youth trying to divide and conquer. Double team offense, the name of the game for them. Elevated Centon there. And, oh, look like they're going up. They're looking for that proving ground knee. This is how they've got many a victory. Almost gained them the tag team titles in the past. Zay Washington took out Sketch. Look out here. Check this out. Smart move, takes him over to the corner for the tag. Double team tactics by the Young Goats. We've seen this in Memphis, and look at that, the oh! 450. Fantastic, that usually does it. One, two, it's over. That's young Goats win. Wrote. Here are your winners, the Young Goats. Wait, wait a second, Todd. What, is, what, the, what, the, what the heck is Guy Tweak is Eddie and Midnight hey, Heat doing out here? Man. That was great. Congratulations. That was just great. That was the GOAT. But I, hey, you're going to want to stick around for this. I got an announcement. A really important announcement. Big announcement. Two weeks, the premiere of our new music video, Heat Street. Two weeks. Not one, but the Street. Okay. And you guys are invited. I, to the now's not the time. Yeah. I mean, talk about stealing the thunder here. I thought they were gonna come out and challenge him. He's gonna debut his video in two weeks? Well, speaking of debuts, this was the big debut for the Young Goats, picking up the victory in Midnight Heat. Just walking all over there, the shine spotlight. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Talk about Heat Street. If I was if, if I was the Young Goats, I would, be, I would be heated. All right, more action to come, including our big championship main event. We'll be back. Hello, folks. Jack Farmer standing by with Flex McCallion and Richie Slade. Now, Richie, because of the rematch clause tonight, you are going to get a rematch eh, eh, with... Eh, eh, eh. No, not just Richie. You see, the last time that Richie signed his luxurious contract here in Hollywood, we added in a candy clause. And from this point forward, we're going to enact that clause. So when you take on... Beef candy! You have to defeat 100%. Richie is 50%. Do you know who the other 50% is? If he's, if he's 50... Do the math. No. Do the math. Uh, who, who's the other 50? You're looking at him, Twizzler! It's me, the Beef Lord, Flex McCallion! So you will take on not only the everlasting Richie Slade, but the other 50% of Beef Candy! Beef Candy! Beef Candy! Beef candy. And tonight... The bed won't be cold anymore because baby's coming home. Because I'm tired of sleeping alone. I know, Richie. It'll be warm real soon, baby. People ask Stacey Boy, why do you love Car Shield so much? I say because I choose my mechanic and coverage. That includes towing and roadside assistance. Expensive car repairs can kiss my woo! Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? 
Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So. Which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a four-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate and a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670, 1-800-768-2670. Welcome back, wrestling fans. John Roberts here, and I'm joined at this time by Kevin Martinson. And Kevin, I understand that you've asked for this time to apologize to someone? Uh, that's right, John. I wanted to publicly apologize to EJ Sparks for my actions at Coastline Clash. Um, towards the end of our match, when I rammed your knee into the ring post, uh, that's not in my character. That's not who I am. I, I just felt like I took it too far. And... Uh, I, the reason, I guess, I, I have been under a lot of pressure lately from our space precinct. They sent me back here to earn credits to send back to them. Our department is struggling. There is not a space precinct. Kev Kevin, Greater Scranton YMCA. It's not from outer space. It's from Pennsylvania. You're from Earth. You're acting like my kids. Get it through your head. Earth. Ben, ben. Earth. Shut up. Earth. Right. What's his problem? That there's people that don't believe me? The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from the City of Roses, weighing in at 240 pounds, Vinny Wasco. Welcome back to action here on Championship Wrestle Wrestling. Vinny Wasco certainly all kinds of fired up. We've seen him in the past on Championship Wrestling, and it's good to see him back, and he certainly has rededicated himself to his training, and he's ready to be back under the bright lights. Yeah, you said it. I mean, he looks super fired up to be back here at Championship Wrestling, looking to make the most of this first opportunity back. And introducing his opponent, being accompanied to the ring by Halston Body from the Barbary Coast, weighing in at 180 pounds, the illustrious Dom Kubrick. Should probably come as no surprise that Halston Body would bring out a little bit more of the panache, the sparkle, the exotic nature of Dom Kubrick. The pageantry on full display now that it seemingly aligned with the lethal accessory Halston body. They are really soaking it up here. Yeah, this really is a match made in heaven with these two right here. Dom Kubrick, such an incredible in-ring competitor. Recently saw him 
against Dan Joseph. Had a great showing in what was really a rematch of one of the standout main events in the history of Primetime Live of Kubrick and Dan Joseph. Those two faced off for the United Television title back on pay-per-view. Had a great rematch recently. And we'll see what comes of this uh, association. Yes, we absolutely will. And you hit the nail on the head. Just what a terrific competitor Dom Kubrick is. I often think about that television championship match, one of my favorites in recent memory. And now to add Halston Body to the mix, uh, it might just be enough to put him over the top and be a threat to all the gold here in championship wrestling. Yeah, Dominic Kubrick really came into that first matchup against Dan Joseph as somewhat of a no-name. And he left there with a ton of respect. He has, ooh, quick headlock out of Vinny Wasco. Dichotomy of styles, though, here, Blake. I think, you know, you've got that, that, uh, that flashiness and unorthodox style, a little bit of Kubrick, but no nonsense on the other side. Just a great uh, hard-nosed competitor in Wasco, and you see it there with the shoulder block. Yeah, he's an athletic dude, and he has great collegiate-style wrestling. Wow, look at that counter right there to the hip toss. We've so. seen in the past that Kubrick can be a little bit of a slow starter. He sort of almost likes to soak up a little bit of damage before he really gets going in there. Yeah, he said before that he enjoys oh. a little bit of pain, that it gets him started. Dishing out some pain, vicious eye rake. Followed up nicely with the high elevation standing drop kick, and now a oh. shot. Oh, look at this. The fan, the champagne to the face. Man, this is dangerous. If a guy cannot see, he cannot intelligently defend himself, which means Dominic Kubrick can use a variety of different attacks right now on a blinded Vinny Wasco. And it's not exaggeration. The champagne to the eyes, that stings. That is, that is enough to create an opening that Dom Kubrick can certainly capitalize on as he's doing right now. Man, it could just be water getting splashed in your eyes, but that's a carbonated beverage. His eyes have got to be bubbling and sizzling right now. You can oh. see him turning up the heat with a little bit of a comeback, though. <laughs> that strike was sizzling to Kubrick. Vinny Wasco looking to get back in control. Sure was. Goes downstairs. And now look at the power on display by Vinny Wasco. Front face suplex still feeling the effects of that champagne, but able to navigate him his way into a cover. And I'll tell you, talking about during the, the shutdown, you know, Wasco really rededicated his time in the gym. I mean, he has packed on some big-time muscle, and it is paying off in this match so far. Absolutely. He's an extremely athletic big guy, too. He is moving oh. very... Wow. Dominic Kubrick is just that much more agile and quick, though. Leaping neck breaker. His picture perfect. Falling up with a headbutt right in the middle of the ring. Cover here. Could be all for Wasco. Able to just get the shoulder up at two and a half. Great and series of offense there, guys. You saw the neck breaker and then so little utilized. The the bottom rope. You saw Kubrick there sprung off the bottom rope into that head, but gets that extra momentum into the move. And you say, you know, not often utilized. He does work that unorthodox style as Wasco fight with everything he's got to create some distance. Now falling up. Nobody home. Kubrick able to slip out. Both these guys are moving very quickly. Oh, wow. wow, look at the agility out of the big man, Vinny Wasco, coming off the second rope. Maybe should have hung in there for the cover after that big cross body because Kubrick out of the way of the senton. All the body weight down, caught the knees. Look at this double underhook butterfly into the neck breaker. Going to force him to look up into the vanilla sky and gets the victory. Here is your winner, Dom Kubrick. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Car Shield. Car Shield cars go further, and Kubrick victorious here. And again, you saw the athleticism of the big man. There's the crossbody by Wasco, but doesn't elect to go for the cover. Misses the senton, and then this nice double underhook neckbreaker. Impressive. It was impressive, and it was eyes wide shut for Vinny Wasco as Dom Kubrick picks up a big time victory. Kubrick shining like perhaps never before. Here to get a word wow. with the victor, Emily May. Dom, congratulations on your win. So lately you've been more of a free agent and uh, you're no longer with so-called distancing and possibly now kind of partnering with Halston Body. Are you part of the body shop now? Let me put it to you this way. Ever since SoCal distancing dissolved and I lost that title, I had a taste of gold. I had a taste of ambrosia, and you know what? I tasted blood, and I want more. So I found myself lost until I saw a light, center stage, making his masterpiece, the illustrator, Halston Body. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Darlings, the champagne's gone bad for Vinny Wasco. However, 
Do you see the newest arrival to the body shop? He's got the look. He's got the body. And he's definitely got oodles of talent. Oh! Woo! Calm down. Impressive victory there by Dom Kubrick. Halston Body's got himself quite a character, quite a winner, and we'll be back with more action here on Championship Wrestling. This is a national health care alert from the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one has diabetes, listen closely. Now, regardless of your age, if you have insurance, you may qualify to receive diabetic testing supplies with little to no out-of-pocket cost. Get free delivery, free information, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers for free. Call the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline now for details. Toll free at this number. Attention timeshare owners, this is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. I struggled to stand for a shower, and after falling in the tub, I felt it was only a matter of time before I broke a hip. If you worry about the risk of an accidental fall getting in or out of the bath, could a walk-in tub be right for you? Search Consumer Affairs Walk-In Tubs to find great deals, like a free shower package upgrade. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations, whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new Safe Step walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. My husband said walk-in tubs are for old people, but I was more interested in feeling young and staying in the game. That's why I recommend a walk-in tub to everyone. Call 800-928-0124. That's 800-928-0124. 800-928-0124. Call now. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Howdy Price and the United Television Champion, Levi Shapiro, at a combined weight of 457 pounds. Honest John and the neon phenomenon, Anthony Idol, the hot commodities. Set for tag team action here on Championship Wrestling. Todd Kennelly, Blake Bulletproof Troop, Troop, and we are joined at the broadcast position by none other than Dustin, five star of Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Great to have you here, and you certainly must have a vested interest in this matchup. Oh yeah, TK, what's up my man? It's been way too long. Bulletproof Troop, what's going on? Memphis is in the house and just wait just wait until you see the gun show in action. I'm excited. I got my ticket and I am ready. Brett Michaels makes his championship wrestling from Hollywood debut. And introducing their opponents at a combined weight of 475 pounds, the team of the gun show, Brett Michaels, and the golden boy, Jordan Clearwater. The Gun Show, the Golden Boys, certainly a team that looked like they could have gold around their waist at any time. What a tandem this looks to be. And certainly both Brett Michaels and Clearwater have recent history with Howdy Price, Anthony Idol and company, and of course, Levi Shapiro. Guys, welcome to the Gun Show. You are in for a treat if you haven't seen the Gun Show, Brett Michaels. 
His size and strength is unmatched. And that guy right there, Jordan Clearwater, Bulletproof Troop, you've done a great job with him. Yeah, Jordan Clearwater is a stud that we're very well familiar with here. I've never seen Brett Michaels before, and you can tell by the size of that guy's arms why they call him the gun show. Click, clack, bang, Boom! bang. Boom, yes, sir. Tag team action, can't wait. Now, TK, how many guys do the hot commodities need at ringside with them? Well, you know, they're certainly always one to hedge their bets. That's for certain. And, you know, we saw recently Jordan Clearwater had a shot at that United Television title, and uh, shenanigans ensued. And, and, and You Brett, don't say. Brett, yeah, shenanigans exactly. without a prize? Come on. <laughs> Brett Michaels made his presence felt. And then, of course, last week in that tag team title matchup, uh, Clearwater and Michaels both got their hands on the United Television champion. But I am very anxious to see Michaels in action. Of course, won the Cobra Cup on championship wrestling from Memphis, has had his issues with Alan Steele, but great to see him out here under the bright lights in Hollywood and certainly seems to be laser focused. Yes, doesn't look a bit nervous, especially with a tag team partner like Jordan Clearwater, a former Hollywood Heritage Champion. And also one would say that Brett Michaels was the favorite to win the Memphis Heritage title but of course, like you said, shenanigans played a role in that. But looking forward to seeing these guys in action as a tag team here today. Looks like yeah. it'll be Honest John and Clearwater to start. Your thoughts on this matchup, Blake? It's always interesting when you have two guys that are great singles competitors come in and tag together when they've never worked together before because I think team swag or an ability to work together sy synergistically is a very important part of winning tag team matches. And we've seen the hot commodities work together fantastically. Not only that, but you have Howdy Price and Levi Shapiro on the outside who are going to definitely do their best to intervene somehow in this matchup. So Jordan Clearwater and Brett Michaels have got, oh, pin attempt. They have got to stay focused on the boys inside of the ring. I agree with you. Certainly showed some continuity uh, in our main event, though, in the aftermath of it there. You had the punch by Michaels, the Midas touch by Clearwater on the uh, television champion. Honest John, that was showing a lot of moxie. I mean, this guy has not met a fight that he didn't like thus far. He's stepped up to the biggest and the baddest in the game. Absolutely. If you watch championship wrestling each and every week, you see Honest John constantly in different, different matches, uh, wrestling different competitors. And back to Bulletproof's troops point, is two singles wrestlers pairing up as a tag team. Sometimes that can work against you because you're used to doing things a certain way. Um, it looks like Idol and John, they figured it out, and we'll see if Clearwater and Brett Michaels do as well. Sometimes you just don't have that chemistry. Sometimes it's oil and water. But I'll tell you, they certainly, on paper, are a very dangerous team, talking about Clearwater and Michaels, because they have that knockout oh, ability. Here we go. There's the tag. There we go. Big man's in. Oh, look at that agility. Leapfrog there by Michaels, showing some teamwork. What I was going to mention, Blake, and you know a lot about knockouts, my friend, Think of, you've got the Gun Show Lariat by Michaels. you got the Midas Touch by Clearwater. This team could put out your lights instantly. Absolutely, and that's going upstairs or going downstairs by either competitor, which is an absolutely big advantage. We saw a little bit of tag team teamwork there by these two, which means we know that they're already at least somewhat on the same page. But there were just two random guys that got put together. Brett Michaels came out to help Jordan Clearwater, so we know there's some type of relationship between the two. And thus far, they're showing it in their wrestling. And Dustin, uh, I tell you, I wouldn't want to be honest, John, right now, but makes the tag. You're no stranger to the neon phenomenon. Look he's, at this. He's a big man, can cause a variety of damage. Two big men in the ring right now, about to square off now on YouTube when we do the live chats. This is what a lot of the people want to see. Oh, yeah, the let's two see how big this man, lockup goes. Idol and the gun show, locking horns. East Coast, West Coast Championship Wrestling meets Championship Wrestling from Memphis. What a power struggle we've got here in the midst of this tag team matchup. Man. I'm here with Car Shield World Champion, Rick. Woo! Car Shield's America's favorite money saving, roadside assistant, tow truck calling, rental car get, and teamed up with your truly. Woo! Mary and Shirley both need oxygen. Shirley lost her freedom the day she went on oxygen, but Mary has the ultra-compact Inogen 1 G4 Oxygen Concentrator from Inogen. It's the smallest and lightest model we've ever made, so she'll always have the oxygen she needs anytime, anywhere. The sooner you call, the sooner you can reclaim the freedom and independence you deserve. 
Call now for your 30-day risk-free trial. Call 800-600-1268. That's 800-600-1268. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-913-0649. That's 1-800-913-0649. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. Michaels almost gave Honest John a, a return and, and give him a little flight to Memphis. All Return the, in the favor. Look all the this. blood rushing to Honest John's head. Now, Brett Michaels is no rookie. This might be his first bit of action on championship wrestling from Hollywood, but you can catch him each and every Saturday at high noon on CW30 in Memphis inside our brand new Wrestle Center. Incredible. What an impressive uh, venue that is. Now let's see that continuity double teaming, double elbow there by Michaels Clearwater. Clearwater quickly into the cover, looking to put him away. No, sir, not yet. I'm a big fan of how well Jordan Clearwater and Brett Michaels are working together. They've been doing a fantastic job for this being their first tag team match together. Yeah, and to play devil's advocate, Blake wondered about that continuity. They're showing it, but desperation jawbreaker there by Honest John. He's pesky. Look at the strength of Honest wow, John. Wow, nice suplex by Honest John there, and the tag into the big man. That was a smart thing to do. And Idol going to the middle rope here. Big splash. Wow. That could wow. be it. All that body weight down. Yeah, he crushed Jordan Clearwater's sternum with that big splash off the second rope. Well, you might want to put some barbecue sauce on those ribs from Top Barbecue because Ooh. they're cooked right now, Dustin. Man. I'll tell you what, that was Samoan drop. How impressive is the neon phenomenon? You're the way he jumped hungry. back, he landed a significant amount of his body weight on top of Jordan's Clearwater's frame. Again, that's twice that he's had that 300-pound monster come crashing down on top of him. Yeah, I don't know if I would poke the bear if I was honest, John, swiping at Brett Michaels, because when he gets in there, he's going to pay the price. But when you've got two on one, Jordan Clearwater down, take advantage of it. I don't, yeah, I'd like to see Jordan Clearwater start to fight to his corner a little bit. Right now, you Honest John has the choke in, which may or may not be below the chin, I can't really tell, but he does not have control of Jordan Clearwater's body, which means Jordan can start trying to fight to his feet and fight his way over to the corner. There's no way you're beating Jordan Clearwater with a chin lock anyways. There's no way, you're just trying to wear him down, take away that air. Not with all that time he spent in uh, Black House MMA. Suplex though, breaks the hold, but we'll see who can get to their corner first. Opportune time perhaps for both to make a tag, but not gonna go that way. Isolating and holding back Honest John, and now the- Almost. Yep, now the other way. Honest John, I'll tell you, he's pesky, but he's effective. Steps up with the Inziguri. Wow, big, big shot to the back of the head with that kick there on Jordan Clearwater. Also, it's gotta be a little bit intimidating having the United TV champion right there in your face during this tag team match. Yeah, every time you're in there with a member of, of, of the Price Check Ranch, it's, it's almost like you're 
in a de facto lumberjack match, and you don't have any help out there. No. You're 100% right. With how close Jordan Clearwater was to the apron there, he is lucky that he didn't take some shots by Levi Shapiro or Howdy Price. The referee was right there on top of things, so they couldn't sneak anything in, but you know they wanted to. And don't get me wrong, it's going to take a lot to intimidate Brett Michaels or Jordan Clearwater, but when you got, you know, four or five guys at ringside, that makes it tough for anybody. Oh, well, sure it does. They're doing a fantastic job of slowly chipping away at Jordan Clearwater too. Nothing high risk. They're chopping away. See, this choke here is not going to get a finish, but it's slowly draining the life bar out of Jordan Clearwater. And if they can continue to deplete his life bar, they may be able to get a win. And there's the tag. Oh, but the, the official was preoccupied with Anthony Idol. Oh, come on. And Levi Shapiro and Howdy Price. The numbers game paying dividends. And now, see, the official not going to allow the tag. Oh, He's man. forcing the gun show back out. Unbelievable. And, and there you see the numbers game came to fruition. Now the poke of the eye. And you said earlier he might not put away Clearwater, but all the action by Honest John kept the big man fresh on the outside. When you do fight so hard to make that tag only for the referee not to see it, it does deflate you. It can deflate you somewhat. So hopefully that's not the case here as Clearwater Big flying forearm sends he, Anthony Idol down. He spent everything he had on that forearm, though. He needs to get himself up and get to Michaels. There we are with the tag. Here comes the gun show. I got to believe that Brett Michaels is going to be firing with both barrels now, and it is going to be high artillery One for strikes. Idol. Yes. Wow, that was a big forearm strike to Anthony Idol on the apron. Knocked him all the way down to the floor. Oh, hooks him wow. up. Spine buster. Yeah, big spine buster, and I know that he loves that as the setup. That's the prelude. He looks like he's ready for something. I haven't seen him do it before, but he looks like he's ready for something. I think he's got one in the chamber, perhaps going to be looking for that big gung show lariat. And he's going to turn his attention back to inside the ring, though. Where are these guys going? Are they heading for the hills? Are they going to leave Honest John oh, here no. as, a, as a sacrificial lamb? Not a good spot for Honest John, that's for sure. He's honestly in a lot of trouble. There we go, the Midas touch, the gun show lariat, and Michaels picks up his first victory in Hollywood. Here are your winners, the team of Jordan Clearwater and Brett Michaels. Let's look back at the action brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. Get your official United Wrestling Network gear. What a one-two punch here, guys. The Midas Touch followed by the Gun Show Lariat. Oh, yeah. This and team ended up being a super-powered uh, combination. Unbelievable. High-octane striking. What a victory. And it leaves you wondering, what's going on with Honest John, the hot commodities in the price tag French? Well, it leaves me wondering, when are we going to get Levi Shapiro defending his championship against the gun show? That's what I want to see. That's what we want to see in Memphis. And speaking of what we want to see right here, coming up next, the Heritage title will be on the line. Beef Candy tries to get back the gold as they take on Jordan Cruz. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. Attention, if you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. 
You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright and Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Attention. If you currently do not get health insurance through your employer, or if you do not have health insurance, or if you just got divorced or married, had a baby, moved, or lost your health insurance coverage, listen closely. You are eligible for a new health care plan using Health Insurance America. A family of four can make up to $97,000 a year and still qualify for a new health care plan. Get coverage for doctor visits, prescriptions, hospital, dental, and vision for as little as $25 a week with co-pays as low as zero dollars health insurance rates have nearly doubled in the last three years stop paying the rising cost of traditional major medical and learn how health insurance america is saving people thousands of dollars a year on their health care plans don't waste hours on the phone or on a government website talk to a live health care consultant right now call 1-800-709-1029 that's 1-800-709-1029 1-800-709-1029 It is main event time, and we heard from Beef Candy earlier, and things might not be sweet for Jordan Cruz, the champion, in this matchup, because according to Flex, this is our moment again. Cruz is going to have to take on not 50% of Beef Candy, the former champion, that man, Richie Slade, but 100%, meaning Slade and Flex. Yeah, and Richie Slade is enough to handle on his own, but you add Flex to that equation. Such a tall order for Jordan Cruz. All right, there you hear it. Uh, the Everlasting saying that the reign of Cruz will be anything but. And there's the champion. Won it in week one of Halston's Body Coastline Clash. Cashed in the golden ticket as Beef Candy thought that they had handpicked an opponent, had it set up for an easy win after knocking out Cruz's tooth, laying him out. And a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Adnan Qureshi here to set the stage for this very unconventional championship matchup. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Introducing first, the challenger, being accompanied to the ring by Flex McCallion, weighing in at 184 pounds, everlasting Richie Slade. Look, Jordan Cruz stole the championship from Richie Slate. So therefore tonight, because he only beat 50% of Beef Candy, he is only 50% of a champion. And that's why you're in this predicament, son. You are now in a Candy Cat match. Go ahead, introduce the champ. Oh boy, Candy Cat match? And introducing their opponent from Lafayette, Louisiana. Weighing in at 203 pounds, he is the Hollywood Heritage Champion, Jordan Cruz. Oh, look at this, getting the jump on the champion, and that is nothing new here. And if you're the champ here, Blake, what do you do in this two-on-one situation? Man, you gotta get one of those guys outside of the ring so you can concentrate on the other. But if, they, if you allow a guy to get on each side of you and flank you, he's gonna get attacked from behind, just like right there. And that's exactly what the champion did at Coastline Clash during that everlasting entrance of Beef Candy. Cruz took Flex out of the picture and capitalized, but got caught in a bad way in the opening min uh, minutes of this one. Yeah, you gotta divide and conquer if you're Jordan Cruz. I'll play the devil's advocate though in terms of this candy cap match as Flex called it, is that now you don't have to worry about Flex on the outside. You have both of your opponents right in front of you. Oh my goodness, wow. and the shenanigans of Flex McCallion maybe not as coming from the blind side. What a drop kick by the champion. Elevation oh! sensation as you would say. Yeah, <laughs> you will, what a back body drop. And, and perhaps, I mean this might be an opportunity Although, you know, certainly looks to have a lot of power, does Flex McCallion. 
He's, it's been a while since he has actively uh, been an in-ring participant. Certainly he's got involved outside the ring, but it might be an opportunity for the champion to take advantage. Look at this takedown defense, putting on the brakes both ways, but just too much there, two on one, suplex. Yeah, they were able to utilize their legs to get a little bit of leverage on Jordan Cruz there to get him over. He was fighting that suplex very well though. And I guess under these candy cap rules, you know, sometimes you have a handicap match and if it's two on one, they have to tag in and out. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, I, I guess it's just another nuance of that contract that Flex and Richie Slade were able to negotiate here. But boy, Jordan Cruz has shown tremendous heart throughout his career. That is why he is heritage champion, but he's going to need every bit of it here to defeat both members of Beef Candy who are in control right now. Cover. Fle Flex just muscled him up there. And now the cover. I mean, it's gonna be hard for Cruz to get any kind of respite or breather in this thing. Yeah, they are absolutely smothering him right now. They are giving him no space and no time to breathe, and that is going to kill his gas tank very, very quickly. You hear about it, it's harder to stay at the top than it is to get at the top. I can think of no better example than having your first title defense in a handicap match. Handicap match. I, I cannot cotton to that. And, and man, look at this. But fighting from underneath, dividing and conquering, as Blake said, looking for the crucifix. Look out here and now turning it into a submission. Take it, take us through it here, Blake. He's in a dangerous spot though, being on the ground for the other. Oh, he's oh, got he's an got, ankle he's lock got on both. Flex. And he's got a head scissor on Richie Slade. Both guys are trapped inside of submission holds. It looks like we're gonna see Flex be able to get to the ropes, possibly. <laughs> We've got Flex a sail. Flex needs to strike his way out of the submission hold. Two for one candy. That could have been a double submission. What a way to make your first defense of the Heritage title with a double submission. That would have been huge, TK. Yes, but it also left the champion vulnerable. Wide open kick, could not block it because he had two hands full of submission. Did the champion, and now right back to the double teaming. Go uh, Beef Candy. You know, it actually showed a lot of promise in a potential for Jordan Cruz to actually win this matchup. That was the first time, oh, another pin attempt by Beef Candy. As quick as we say that though, Beef Candy right in control again, the revolving door of pin attempts, just forcing Jordan Cruz to use more and more of that energy. But how impressive that double submission from Jordan Cruz was now turning it around is Beef Candy locking Jordan Cruz in the mouth. You know, he had that and dental work done. Yeah, they might have some cavities from all this candy is Cruz. Oh! And oh no, gonna take that, just that tooth to right back out, out of his mouth. Oh. Sure, well they've already taken one. Going back Cruz for able more. To fight back to his feet for a second. Let's see if he can get some offense going. He cannot stay here though. He's just going to continue to absorb damage if he stays on the ground. And, and I got to think that Jaw's still not 100% from that chair shot that knocked the tooth right out of the mouth of the champion weeks ago. Absolutely not. And just you see the aggressiveness of Beef Candy. They took losing that Heritage Championship incredibly personally. Yeah, absolutely suffocating Jordan Cruz with pressure is Beef Candy. Cruz in deep trouble here. The champion suffering from these candy cap rules. Can he survive? We'll find out. This championship match continues next. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new SafeStep walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Call 800-905-7492. That's 800-905-7492. 800-905-7492. Call now. Can your kitchen knife do this? How about this? Well, now it can. Born of the Forge with a heart of steel and fire is a once-in-a-lifetime knife inspired by the hit TV show Forged in Fire. So sharp and so strong, it will cut everything in your kitchen, frozen or fresh. Forged in Fire's knives, surgical steel construction, and razor-sharp edge literally shatters the competition. And that means no more bashing bread or terrorizing your turkey. Each knife is hammered right out of the forge and comes professionally sharpened so you can tear through your T-bone and even fillet your fish. Make salads speedy and simple, then finish with your fruits. Its professional ergonomic handle won't slip, even chopping this frozen solid block of ice. And that torture won't dull its precision sharpness. Amazing! Professional chefs know a sharper knife is a safer knife because you cut exactly where you need to. Your food, not your fingers. 
Let's watch that again. That's a sharp knife. It may be the last knife you'll ever buy. And we'll hand number each limited edition item to commemorate your purchase. Professional knives like this can cost over $300, but you won't pay that. Now you can get the 8-inch surgical stainless steel forged in fire chef's knife for the low, low price of only $29.95. And when you order now, you'll get the forged in fire paring knife absolutely free for razor sharp results with your fruits and vegetables. And that's not all. Order a second set of knives right now and we'll give you free shipping on the entire order. And all Forged and Fire Knives come with our 50-year guarantee. But you must order now. To order, call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Don't wait. Call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Woo! Thank you for calling Car Shield. This is the Nature Boy. How may I help you? I feel at home working with Car Shield. Nice spreadsheet. Oh. Woo! People say, Rick, you're an icon, the 16-time world champ. What brought you here? I say Car Shield administrators help save customers over a billion dollars. And Slick Rick loves saving money. Woo! Car Shield cars go farther. Woo! Welcome everybody back to this Heritage title main event, double submission, and it's perfectly legal under the rules, the loophole of this contract here that uh, Beef Candy getting away with. Yeah, I mean, you know, we never have seen Beef Candy this focused, this no nonsense in the ring, trying to win back that Heritage Championship, really just taking Jordan Cruz apart right now. Oh, I, I spoke too soon about the shenanigans. Here we go. After the spine buster, here comes uh, Flex, uh, Flex Battalion, and nope, nobody home there. Nothing for the candy this elbow. This is a little window here for Jordan Cruz to potentially get something going while Flex is down. If Jordan Cruz can start mounting some offense here on Richie Slade, he can start swaying things. Yeah, but just as you say that, you got Flex back on his feet. You know, it, it's allowed Beef Candy to immediately capitalize throughout this matchup. So one of them hits a maneuver, the other goes for the cover. There's, there's no downtime when you're the champion. You are constantly have to have your guard up. He absolutely has very small windows of time that he can try and make a turnaround in this matchup, but he's going to have to try and take advantage of him if he wants to change, change the story so far. Weather the storm, turn the tide when you get the chance. And this might be it right now for Jordan Cruz. Here we go. Out goes Flex. This He's is another moment. Let's see what Jordan can do with it. Oh, nice counter there to that attempted throw, the attempted monkey flip. And Cruz getting getting Slade, the former champion, in a precarious position. But watch out for, look, here we go again. Numbers Guys. game, too much. You know, he's got to do things to take a little bit better advantage over a faster period of time. He went too big there, in my opinion, looking for that high-risk maneuver, but he's got both up there now. Oh, my goodness. This, Boy, this he, would be insane. He's going to take out not only right Twix, but left Twix as well. Look out here. Oh! He got him. Oh! Unbelievable double superplex. Everybody's down. Everybody is down. Wow. Let's take another look at that. Brought to you by Car Shield. Oh, my goodness. The double superplex. How much heart and desire shown by Jordan Cruz. Tremendous determination. And now if he can capitalize, he will stay Heritage Champion. This may be the opportunity. He's got to somehow dig deep and keep his foot on the gas. Doing everything he can do to defy the odds. You know, we heard from him a few weeks back talking about Jordan Cruz saying he wants to put his name among the greats that have held that Heritage title. And he'll have to prove to be a fighting champion if he's going to survive with a title in tow here in our main event. You know, if he's fighting two guys at once, I'm already giving this guy the people's champion, a fighting champion. He's willing to take on both members of Beef Candy, and now he's slinging close lines in the middle of the ring. Where is Cruz finding this from? You know, he's not quite in Cruz control yet. But I'll tell you, he's hitting that accelerator. Jordan Cruz. He's taking advantage. I can't believe he's getting this done. Wow. The forward progress he's making. Semper fired up is Jordan Cruz. I love it. The devil dog. It's dog days right now for Beef Candy. Make a wish. Uh-oh, but he got caught oh. there. And again, the job very susceptible. Boy, took him down there, did flex. Oh, that oh, was so close. Wow. History almost made here. Yeah, he surprised Jordan Cruz with that attack right there. No Another respite for attempt. Cruz. That's what I'm saying. He, you know, he's got to just 
contend with a cavalcade of covers here, guys. You they're see, getting you closer and closer to that three count. If they're able to continue to smother Cruz like this, Beef Candy will be taking home that Hollywood Heritage title. Yeah, but Beef Candy, they're finding out it might not be hard to knock Cruz down when it's two on one, but it's getting him to stay down is the trick, and they haven't been able to find it yet. There's no quit in Jordan Cruz's heart. We have seen that man go to war with a lot of people. <laughs> Collision course. Here's another for window. The little that he, candies. Yeah. He's got some time right now. He, he can start swaying the momentum back in his favor. Oh, oh man. Here we go. The everlasting gobstoppers being put to the test here, <laughs> yeah. boys. Oh. Stereo jawbreakers for Beef Candy. Flex McCallion's out of the ring though. This gives Jordan Cruz some time to work on former champion Richie Slade. Let's see if he can get oh, a pin oh. here. Snap German, snap German, but he's got to get him back to the center and try and put him away. And that's what he's looking to do. Oh, looking for the cruise control here. That uh, that that hooking power bomb. But nice counter, at least momentarily. Oh, there it is. Wow. All state slam. Digging deep in his playbook is the champion. Cause Gonna he put him away. Oh. Gonna do it. No. Flex with the save. Wow. Just at the last second, too. Things are really starting to move in Jordan Cruz's favor. Yeah, that might have been his best chance, though. And now you have both members of Beef Candy back in the ring. Cruz, all he can do is cover up as Flex is just unloading. Yeah, those are some big shots by Flex McCallion from full mount. And I, mean, I got to say, we, you know, we mentioned that the in-ring layoff of Flex, he has been a valuable asset as, you know, 50% of Beef Candy here. He has looked impressive in this championship main event. He absolutely has. You know, R Richie Slade and Beef Candy, it has to be said, they've always come in with a game plan, and they've been executing it thus far. But, man, Jordan Cruz, he almost had it, almost escaped, still Heritage Champion. Well, I think Flex is usually a, a flightless bird, but look, it may be an assisted candy drop. Doesn't pay off some agility, though, by Flex. Look out here, the champion trying to oh. hook him up. Battling his way out, though, is Flex yet again. Something's got to give. A lot of moving parts here, guys. Roll up by McCallion. Oh. Wow, what a, what what a, counter. Counter. What a, counter. What a counter by Cruz. Wow, that was an impressive counter. Here is your winner and still Hollywood Heritage Champion, Jordan Cruz! Let's, let's take a look back. A lot of moving parts here at the end of this matchup brought to you by UnitedWrestlingShop.com. And you see Richie getting taken out of action there. The roll up and then the reversal. Had to really dig down deep to get that hook to the chin. Yeah, Jordan Cruz got control of his hips and was able to rotate that pin over in his favor. And he leaves here today the champion once again. Incredible heart tenacity. And I'll tell you what. Jordan Cruz, the champ, he's got a hard candy shell, that's for sure. He's double tough. What an exciting edition of Championship Wrestling presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. Jordan Cruz able to retain his Hollywood Heritage Championship in a handicap match. Even you have to admit that was impressive. I was just going to say, I don't know how he pulled it off, but congratulations to the young upstart, Jordan Cruz. Well, and congratulations to Brett Michaels, a successful in-ring debut for him here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And now we've gotten word he is going to be in a number one contenders match for that United Television Championship. The line, he's getting towards the front of it, my friend. He may be cutting the line all he wants to do, but he still won't get to the front if I have anything to do with it. Well, bold words from the Timeless One, and next week in our main event, it will be the Arizona State Championship on the line. Ray Rosas defends against Honest John. That's coming up next week on Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.